Chon Il, the number five seed from Korea, taking on Chen Long, the number two seed of China. Directly following our men's doubles semi-final number one, Chandra and Gunawan from Indonesia, taking on Noki Kawamei and Shoji Sato, the number six seeds from Japan. We'll be back in a few moments' time for our men's singles semi-final number one. for the men's singles semi-final number one. Well, disappointment for the number one seed, Lee Chong Wei, after he was forced to withdraw from the final of the All England last Sunday with a shoulder injury. The world number one is resting up as his focus lies towards London. He was in Basel for the first few days of the week, but has now returned to KL for an MRI scan and is expected to play just only four tournaments before the Olympics in July. So with Lee Chong Wei withdrawing from the main draw, the field was certainly open. A couple of early surprises with Europe's leading man, Peter Gade of Denmark, departing before his second round match against uh, Kuzamasa Sakai of Japan. The Danish number three seed defeated Holland's Eric Pang in the first round, 21-15, 21-15. But a persisting foot problem has forced Gade to withdraw in an attempt to prevent further injury. Good news though for the young man, many hail as the future replacement for Gaudia, Denmark's 18-year-old sensation. Victor Axelsson had uh, convincing wins in the first two rounds over Xiao Tian Chen of Taipei and 15th seed Tommy Subiato of Indonesia. The young Dane though met his match late last night in the quarter-final match against uh, Korea's number five seed Lee Hyun Il, who wrapped up the match in just 35 minutes. The final score 21-15, 21-14. Lee hyun -il of Korea, seeded number five here. His opponent today, Chen Long of China, is the number two seed. It's expected to be a great matchup. I have been looking forward to this for some time. Lee hyun -il, 31 years of age, born in Seoul in South Korea. He's 176 centimeters tall, 67 kilograms, a left-hander. Recent activity include a, a semi-final 
at the All England Badminton Championships last week where he lost to Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia after defeating Darren, Darren Liu of Malaysia in the quarterfinal. He had a third round showing at the German Open Grand Prix Gold where he was seeded number four. He lost to Sugiato from Indonesia, the number nine seed, in a match going the full distance, just over one hour and ten minutes. Before that, in Malaysia, at the Putra Stadium in Kuala Lumpur back in January, he lost the first round to Hans Christian Wieninghus of Denmark and also had a second round showing at the Korean Open. To Lin Dan. Chen Long, the world number three, seeded number two here in Basel, 23 years of age, born in Xiaoman in Fujian province of China. He's 189 centimeters tall, six foot two, 79 kilos. Recent activities include a quarter final showing at the All England where he lost to Kenichi Tago of Japan, the number seven seed. Chen Long was the number three seed in the tournament, so there was a couple of surprises there. Before that, he had uh, success at the preliminary stages of the Thomas and Uber Cup. He won every single one of his matches in the second stage there. And at the Malaysian Open in uh, January, he was a semi-finalist where he lost again to Lee Chong Wei in a match lasting a little over one and a quarter hours. He retired from the first round of the Korean Open where he was playing up against Hu Jin Hyo after just 21 minutes of play some uh, achievements for Chen Long. Of course, he was a member of China's 2011 Sudaman Cup and Thomas Cup team, which took gold. 2007 Asian and World Junior Champion and Australian Olympic Youth Festival, Festival winner. In 2011, he won the Denmark Open, defeating Li Chong Wei. He won the Japanese Open, defeating the same player, the China Masters, defeating Chen Jin. And he won the Thailand Open after defeating Li Hyun Il. Also won the Li Ning China Open, defeating Bao Chun Lai. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Temple China. I'm by Schwartz in the umpire's chair today. A very experienced adjudicator with the BWF. Great to have him in attendance here. Now this is going to be an absolute crack up. I've been waiting all day for this one. Our men's single semi-final one, Li Hyun Il and Hello. Chen Zhong. These two have met one another. Chen Long at the moment leading 3 1 in the head to head. As I mentioned before, that last time they met, coming at the Thailand Open, it was Li Hyun Il who took the win 21 8, 21 19. It was uh, a very convincing win, in fact. that Chen Long will certainly be trying to use that height to his advantage as I mentioned 189 centimeters tall just a little bit taller than I think the 186 or so of the 176 I should say so quite a bit of a difference there between these two in height anyway
around the arena here, we can see a couple of Korean flags. Plenty of support for the Korean mm. players. Last year, of course, it was the Koreans that were the most successful here. The men's singles final last year, featuring Park Sung Shan against Lee Hyun Il. It was Park that managed to capture the title. 17-21, 21-9, It was also an all-Korean affair in the men's doubles final with Ko Sung Hyun and Yu Yong Sung taking the title against compatriots Chung Jae Sung and uh, Lee Yong Dae, 21-17, 21-16. Ha Jung Un and Kim Min Jung won the women's doubles final against uh, Jung Hyun Yoon and Kim Ha Na. And apart from all of those Korean winners, we had just a couple of others. One being, of course, the mixed doubles final with Yo Kim Fisher Nielsen and Christina Pierson taking the win over Nathan Robertson and uh, his new partner at the time, Jenny Woolworth. start to our men's single semi-final. Strong, but not really getting much of a leap. Didn't quite get that high off the ground. It wasn't the best angle of attack there. We can see coming up now on the replay, two steps back to retreat, and it was a little bit of a shallow attack straight into the net. Unloading down the line, Chen Long gets a little bit more of a leap on that point there and keeping the line nice and straight. A little flick of the backhand, a quick switch in direction. Lee knowing all too well the positioning of Chen Long and how much time it would take for him to come across.
lead just ahead on the smash winners, three to two. He's also leading on those net winners, two to love. was the call. It took some time to come. Service over. Seven. Nine. out for that. Lee Hyung Il started absolutely brilliantly here. Both players serving very well early on. not allow Lee to go into the interval just yet. <laughs> well, that will take us to the break. 11 points to 8, it's Lee hyun the number 5 seed from Korea, off to a dream start ahead of the number 2 seed Chen Long of China. Center court. 11 points to 8 in favor of Lee Hyun Il, the number 5 seed of North Korea. A chance to look at some uh, statistics early on from this first half. Even apart from those net winners, still Lee controlling that. Again, three net winners to love. of why we love this sport so much. A wonderful exchange on the centre stage. And Lee hyung just taking a moment between that point there. We saw a wonderful combination of finesse and strength. A real display of pretty much all the shots in the book. Just 
a minute's rest as the sweat gets wiped away. As Lee diving to keep that alive. And how quick was he up going back over to the left-hand side, watching it float over the baseline. serve 10-13. Well, nicely done. It wasn't the cleanest strike. We could hear a little bit of a, a tap from the, the side of the racket, but it was just placed very well from Chen Long, close to the left-hand line. Reach from the oh well, just swatting away. Lee has just the right touch as he has no problems matching Chen on the short game of the net. Drawing Chen in, we see him just swatting away at clean air. Long putting the tactics into play once again, drawing Lee in with the short shot, coming in quick and just driving it towards the rear of the court. Smart. Chen Long clawing his way back. 11-8 was the score at the interval. Still three points the difference with the chance for Chen to try and eliminate a couple more at least. Oh, brilliant. Once again, Lee not really having to get a lot of height off the ground, just using Shuttle very well. Which it is shorter than wow. Chen Long, but still quite effective with those overhead shots. And there we can see Chen Long again diving to the floor. 16 12. Shots on that on Chen's left hand line there. Continue to go wide from Lee. flat and focusing more on power than on the direction. That's the big clear. Receiving one back but that snap of the wrist just sending it into the into the fence. Continues to show pure talent. Certainly has the support of the crowd on his side. off again. 
Tim Long just caught out on that backhand side. Okay, not quite moving. Let's see what we can pick up from this replay. Made it quite still, having to lunge across to his backhand. And with that, Lee Hyun Il will have a chance to serve for this opening game, 2013. <laughs> Twenty-one fourteen. as we take a quick break here in the men's single semi-final number one. It's the number five seed, Lee Hyun Il, outplaying his higher seeded opponent, Chen Long of China. Twenty-one fourteen. after just 18 minutes of play, the score in the first game. Again, a chance to have a quick look through some statistics from the first game, and Lee Clearly out hitting Chen in two clear categories. The smash winners, he's nine to five, and the number of net winners, five to one. Both players managing to string together four consecutive points off each other's serve. again not shying away from that little short game Chen Long once again didn't quite get the lift required we could see the shuttle a little bit wobbly as it was going up a little bit of spin as it tumbled over up onto the net Incredibly quick lightning speed on the court. Wonderful point for Lee Shun Il. Getting back there. How quick can he switch that direction? That is as tight as they come. Clearing the net without a touch. Oh, well, that 
was uh, pretty close and Chen Long again just raising his hand. An almost impossible angle for return from just too close to the net, too low. Fantastic play from Chen Long. Really just applying that little bit of spin as it topples over. Racing in to kill on the net. Chen Long taking back the serve. Very strong, wonderful angle of attack from the rear of the court. Chen Long has leveled the score at 6 all. Disappointment from the crowd. A big round of applause for a fantastic rally, though. a little bit slow at the moment. Well, another mistake as well. Just handing 
all the central points across. 9-6 in favour of Chen Long. one-sided in the opening game with those net winners and smash winners in favour of the Korean, but uh, the tables have turned quite even in this second game. Oh. Oh, 11 points to 6, it's Chen Long taking us into the interval in our men's single semi-final number 1. Oh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself there, 10-7. Finishing it off nicely. Lee Sean Il saving some brilliant points, stepping up and winning them as well. 8 10 as he keeps the game going. Top of the net. Indicated to go wide. And Lee Hyun Il has reduced the margin to a single point. And here I was thinking that Chen was going into the break at 11 6. Now the score stands 9 10. Oh, wow. Doesn't get much much closer. Ten all. Go into the break with the lead. 11 10, not quite what he was hoping for about five minutes ago, but he gets there in the end. What an exciting match we have to come back to now. seconds to go, 20 seconds to go before we continue on here. And what a fantastic last minute comeback from the Korean. Lee Hyun Il was down at 10 points to 6. 
managed to claw his way back to within one single point at the break. And it is Chen Long serving 11-10. short work coming out of the break leveling and 11 all and then stepping ahead 12 million Holding the racket up, Lee having no control whatsoever. shot just trying to pull it back into play unsuccessfully 13 12 with chin Also showing lightning speed on his feet. Two last steps to take him close to the net with that little backhand's flick. Disappointing. Chen Long just going through the motions again. He looks towards his coach. I think he realized as soon as he made contact what the issue was. 14 points all. Receiving a moment to catch their breath as again the sweat is wiped away. 14 all. Now 14 all the serve with Lee.
Chen was watching that one, coming back with a sense that it would go long. Now he's got a little bit of room to breathe as he has to serve 16-14. Still holding on. The big left hand shot. Going up strong, but quite deceiving with the approach. There wasn't a lot of speed on it. More just worried about accuracy. Still a bit. 15 16. Lee looking to level from this serve. Uh, Resistance pays off. If at first you don't succeed, try again with the net kill. and easy. Well, he certainly thinking that found the line. He took a moment just to question the call. Umpire Schwartz just nodding his head. He's happy. 17-16. Serve returning now to Chen Gong. So lucky on that occasion. We've seen some big points go the way of Lee along that line, but that one wasn't. Well, he's closed the gap before, just moments ago, leveling at 16, but Lee can't afford to give too much away at this point. their seats. Keeps it alive. Very, very deceptive. Going in with that leading left foot. Just dropping away.
Well, he gets there, he holds his concentration throughout the rally. A number of disturbances coming from the crowd here. But Lee has reduced the gap to a single point. Chen Long just struggling to put the last two points on the board as Lee Hyun Il playing at his best with nothing to lose. He has the support of the crowd. He's managed to, to keep his mind focused very clear, wasn't rushing into anything, wasn't being led around by Chen, just playing his game, playing his rally, looking for those chances, patiently waiting. 19 all. What a comeback from Lee. He was hoping for the easy point. He knew as soon as it touched base that he have to play a little bit harder. 2019 match point for Lee Hyun Il. Well, what a tremendous comeback. He has come from behind. Lee Hyun Il, the number five seed, is still around in Basel as he thanks the crowd. He'll be in the final tomorrow as the number two seed. Shen Long's time has come to an end. Confirmation of the score, 21-14 in the first, 21-19 in the second. A wonderful achievement. and sending a couple of rackets up into the crowd of St. Jacob's Halle. He has a lot of fans here, and there will be a lot of people in the house tomorrow to witness that final. Well, we're four down. We have one to go here before we finish our afternoon session. It's the men's doubles semi-final number one. Chandra and Gunawan will take on Kawame and Sato of Japan. Of course, our evening session will see another five semi-finals. That is due to start at 1900 local time. That's 1800 GMT. Check with your local broadcasters for that one there. In a moment's time, the men's doubles semi-final number one. Stay with us.